This is the third video of this series, and many of you have asked for it after we did the first video. And finally, here it is. Because there is always the other side of the coin, or the difficulties in both ends of the spectrum, it's time to talk about the struggles that short idols have to go through. By short idols, we will not only refer to the idols that have a short height, that would be either in the 1.50 meters for girls, or 1.60 for guys. We will also include idols that are the shortest in their groups. These idols suffer similar situations even when their height is not normally considered as short, but within their group, they are the smallest ones. For example, Una. Her height is over the 1.60 meters mark, but she's still considered a short idol, at least when compared with the rest of the different members. But going back to the video, let's see all what short idols have to endure in the already difficult industry of K-pop. Being a small is just an added burden sometimes. It can bring you down, literally. Before we start, remember to like and subscribe for more videos, and tell us down below which other videos you would like to see for this series. Maybe the struggle of the leader, or the struggle of the foreign idol? Now, everyone knows that there are a few disadvantages when it comes to having a compact body frame and height. For example, not reaching things that are in high spots the clothes being too long even at the small sizes, and your neck hurting because you have to look up to everyone. These are normal difficulties for everyone that can relate to their growth stopping really early in life. To some extent, all of these are manageable in everyday life, and not much trouble comes out of them. But when you are an idol, you have to endure a lot more than normal obstacles. Being a short idol will automatically mean that many people will use this characteristic to both describe you or make fun of you. In many cases, this is only a way of friendly teasing, but it can be difficult when that characteristic is used during interviews, variety shows, reality shows, and behind the scenes videos to tease you. We know that most idols are okay with it. But we also know that at some point, it can be harmful and a way to make someone feel insecure about themselves. At the very least, it certainly feels uncomfortable whenever the MC or the group makes the short idol show eggy, even if they don't want to, just because their height makes them look cute. Yeah, being short does make you look younger and even childlike in many occasions, but that doesn't mean you want to be reminded of it at every moment of the day. And especially, you don't want it to be the only thing people focus on. For example, another thing that short idols have to endure is a criticism over their compact body frame, especially female idols. Arin, IU, Taeyeon, and other petite idols are constantly criticized because of their figure. As I already explained in this other video, their petite structure does make them childlike, and people tend to point it out to say that they don't have attractive bodies. But this is not like that. Everybody is attractive in their own way, and short idols, even with very gaming or compact proportions, can look really good with the right style and clothing. You can check more about it in our Kiwi Body Type series. However, we just have to remember that using the right clothing doesn't mean that a stylist should give the not as tall idols the shortest skirts to make their legs look longer, or give them the highest heels, the most revealing outfit or whatever other cheap strategy they can use to make their physique look longer and slimmer. Sadly, sometimes that is what happens with the short idols. Another important part of being the short idol is the insoles. It is understandable that idols with the smallest height in the group tend to use insoles to look symmetrical with the rest of the members. Many of them have said they use them with all kinds of shoes, heels, or sneakers, and no matter the situation, whether it is a music video, a music show, or a simple radio event, even they have made fun of it, saying that they even use them with their socks. Nonetheless, too many times the insoles are not enough to achieve a similar height between all members, and when we talk about dancing, the struggles arise. Once again, both tallest and shortest idols have difficulties, different kind of difficulties, but nonetheless difficulties, when it comes to dancing. 
While tall idols need to bend more or be careful about their limbs to dance harmoniously with the rest of the group, short idols need to show more strength in their movements or mark more strongly the steps for them to look better. This is normal and up to a point is expected, but when you have to dance like Nako in Produce 48, well, you don't know if it can cause some kind of harm or not. She had to stand on her toes and do bigger movements in some occasions to look similar to other participants. And this continued later on on her group, Eyes One, where in certain positions she will have to stretch her feet a bit more than the other members. Finally, we get to one of the most important things short idols have to be aware of and handle accordingly. We have to talk about what I like to call as the short idol effect. Being small has its good and bad things. But being the smallest in the group of people, well, that has its struggles on its own. Boram from Tiara and Taeyeon from Sonishide have talked about how difficult it is to stand out in a performance when most of your group is taller than you. Even if you're the main vocal or if you're in the center, for some short idols it can be hard to get the public attention. This especially happens when there is a big difference between the smallest member and the rest of the group. Aside from Boram, another example could be Luna of FX, where her short physique wasn't as alluring as the physique of other members, even if she was a great dancer and performer. It could be that there are other reasons for this to happen aside from the height, but it is obvious that in a performance, it's difficult for people to concentrate on you when other members tower over you and you get hidden between them. Of course, this is not impossible to handle, and many short idols have found other ways of making themselves stand out. Even if during dancing or photos, they are not the ones that stand out the most. Their charisma and talent is palpable in many other ways. Just look at Jimin of BTS or Soyeon of Idol. Short idols have their own kind of struggles, and for some, it may not seem that big of a deal but I'm sure that many of you can relate to them. It is important to know that we all have to endure things we don't want, and idols are humans as well, and criticize them or make fun of them because of their height is not right. Hope you liked the video and don't forget to like and subscribe for more.